Hey guys, Simul here. On my last episode, remember that um, I did 27 Street Kill. Um, I promised myself that I'd do a part two. But the awesome thing about this is that um, I'm back with TF2. Back with all the stuff of TF2. Austin Wolf just disconnected. Oh, come on. JK. Mission ends in 60 seconds. Give me a sec, guys. I want to be in the other team. I feel like being a spy on the blue team because there's everything. A sentry on the red team so I can zap that. Alright guys, well, I have to finish this video in a, in a little bit because I need to go to bed. So let me go around. Treat myself a scout, you know, you know, yeah. It's time to go zap some stuff, yo. Oh, come on. Give me a sec. Come on, where's that engineer? Whatever, I'm just trying to find a good team. Isn't that good? Alright, so I'm in the red team. Of course I don't want to. Alright, there's a pyro. A slow enough target to kill. You didn't see me. That's why you should always grab this bicycle. Did you guys see that? Is he dead? Yeah, he's probably dead. No, he's not dead. You gotta be kidding me. There's a sniper on there. On my team, I could... I could kill. No. It's a pirate. Nope, that was bad. That was bad. That was so bad. <laughs> um, okay, that's why you should always use this bicycle. No, I don't like stabbing scouts. Only when they're still. Alright, sorry guys that you could hear all that. It's just that. Um, we're watching TV as well. Okay, let's help this guy out. Yeah, boom, I'm back, dummies, ding dong, my mummy. Alright, sorry guys that nothing's going on pretty much right now. Well, did you guys see that, how I survived that? We got the most kills, and we lost. We won. We won. Yes, did you guys just see that? I got a kill on that pyro. Oh, no. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Still, didn't you guys see that? That was a really good kill. I have no clue how I got that. Did you guys see that pyro just jumped in the air like, I believe I can. And then I just stabbed him in midair. Oh, that was just lucky. I, I didn't expect to do that. I just expected nothing. Kind of expected to lose that kill. But, guys, that's how you kill a pyro in midair. For all those spies out there that are afraid of pyros. Like all spies. Alright, so. Alright, guys, the commentary starts now. Sorry that I started it a little late. I was getting caught up on it, and I didn't. And I kind of forgot that it was even a commentary. So, let's go. As I came, I went to this little place or hideout, as you may. 
that I like coming to. I was the second top scorer on my whole entire team. I had eight kills, upset phone barrier, 35, which he's probably, he is a scout. And scouts are really fun and easy to be as. So guys, I tried oh, going over to that um, NG and getting, stabbing him, zapping like everyone does. So I stab and I miss, and the NG dodges my my stab. I tried zapping it, but right when I tried zapping it, my team already destroyed it. I have nothing to do, so I tried going over and turning into into an invisible man, like as everyone calls spy. So I come across and I. Knew that they set up a new century. I went over to their side and dressed up as a scout to see what they think about me. I was just scouting or spying, as you may, to see who was here. And I found out there was a pyro protecting that NG. And that just made me kind of afraid because that pyro was just by me right there. And I didn't know what to do. I had no dead ringer like on all my videos. So I just zapped in it and I did everything. I zapped all the NG had and I hid. At that time I had 11 kills. I was almost up to the best. And I killed and I zapped everything. I was really proud of myself. And there you go guys. Your stab of the day. <laughs> Although that was pretty easy. I always zapped and stabbed because the engineer is going to be looking away. And I saw this soldier and he was just walking around. And I sidestabbed him. I saw this pirate so I came across him and I tried stabbing him. That's when I, that's when I missed because the pirate moved a little... I tried stabbing again and jumping over into the trick stab, but he burned me into death. Actually, he didn't burn me. I Not only my spicicle got burned and I had to wait 10 seconds, but that's my knife and I couldn't do nothing about it except the way I tried cloaking, but it not in time, it did. I checked my stabs and I was 16 stabs in all my high scores. I wanted to go zap some more sentries because I've never really killed the NG and then zapped. I always zapped and killed because... Uh, when you kill, I mean, when you zap, the end is going to be busy. And if you kill in time, um, it's going to be worth it. But for some reason, everyone keeps saying, kill the engine and then zap. So I tried doing it, and it actually worked. So I'm waiting at the enemy's base trying to see if anyone would come out. So I could try to stab them or something, you know. Danji wasn't setting anything up right now, and this guy just came by me. That just kind of put some little terror in me because I was right there and he just zoomed by me. The same scout kept coming and I kept getting terrified by him. So I was waiting here for someone to come and someone wants to wants to kick the player Bebo Bargains for some reason and I had no clue why. And that's when they took my point away and I just saw a sniper come across me. I knew that was going to be a great kill but I missed on him. And I, I missed again, and I kept missing. So I had to stop, and I had to take my time. I finally got that stab, but I kept missing like five times. So I literally did nothing. That's when I saw Pyro literally doing nothing. So I knew that, I, that he was going to be a good target or stab, as you say. I waited here because there was a Pyro and a Soldier, and I knew those were going to be good stabs. Sorry, guys, about the lighting. It's not very good. I tried coming across here, but they both left, and I just got away, took in all my stabs. So I had 18 kills, and I was on the second top best player. I was actually pretty happy about my 18 kills, and I knew that I was starting to be the best player on TF2. So there was a little pyro up there, and there was lots of pyros around here. Of course I wanted to stab them. Who wouldn't want to stab pyros? Of course, everyone. Everyone wouldn't want to stab him because. So 
So I stabbed that pyro and I kind of got lucky by getting that kill. But then Zach Zippy got behind me and used a shotgun on me. At that time, I found out I had a nine. I had a nine kill streak and I was pretty happy about it. And I thought I should play a little bit more, about two more minutes, and then I was gonna end. Cause there's probably only 30 seconds in the mission. So there's Pyrus to trading my team and I of course that was horrible. I tried coming across but I didn't have enough cloak and they didn't really notice me. I had to wait here because my knife is recharging. Lots of pirates tried burning me to death, but it didn't work. I took out my knife, and I knew that we had lost. I stayed here in hopes of not getting killed, and they actually didn't go for the team until this one pyro fell for it that I was in his team. I was really, really surprised that he thought that I was in that I was in his team so I went over and um, I had to go to bed in a little bit so I thought I'm just gonna get like one more stab at least for my finishing one I needed to get the best stabs since I'm now being pronounced as myself as the best spy on TF2 why do I pronounce myself that because I'm really good at it and I keep getting good stabs since the last one. And guys, um the first the I tried doing this video the first time and I actually got no stabs. I was being a noob and of course I didn't want to post it as the best spy on YouTube. So I deleted the video and started it again. This is the video we're watching right now and it's pretty cool. So I come across where there's everyone, but then my team just wrecks all the stabs for me. And it kills everyone, and I thought, we only have three minutes left on this video, and I have to get one more kill. That's when I see this pyro doing nothing. So I come across. I I missed a couple times, and I teased him about one time. But the um, scout named Andre chased me and killed me. So, so I thought, I can't end the video with no... One last kill. I knew I had to go get the last, last kill. So I saw lots of pyros over there getting killed and being happy and stuff. That was just kind of messed up for me right there. There's somebody after me, but I knew why I was so good. I finally got my mouse and I could trick stab. I saw this. I saw this. Um. So I kind of stabbed him, but I didn't recognize it because the thing that just happened was another spy helped me stab it, and that just made me unproud. I tried getting in the last kill, just one last kill. I saw the spyro coming out, and I knew I was going to go on him. Why wouldn't I pick on him if I just want one last kill? So I came behind him and tried to trick stab him. I had no choice of nothing. And I got killed. At that time, I knew that I got enough kills. I got 19 kills on this video and I was good enough to go. So that was pretty much useless. And well, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smack that like button in the face. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for the best spawn TF2. I think I just proved it with my two videos that I am the best spy on YouTube. Peace out.